Um, let me let me check. I think it's 16 now since her charisma increased. Okay. Uh, DC 16 will save to see that this illusion is fake. They think it's real. Give me your money. <laughs> ah, I'm being attacked and the guy runs off. <laughs> they try to chase him down. <laughs> Quadro is just confused. He's watching this on the rooftop and he doesn't, he doesn't know whether he's going to punch these people or just... But the illusion is, Bruh. is, uh, fast enough where they don't catch him. But other than that, um, there, there's nothing, um, <laughs> nothing else really happened. Um, all right, all right. All. Roxy, Roxy returns to the silent, or the rusty dry he says, I tried. All right, Carl, you're sitting He's there stuck. studying and, um, what are you trying to learn again? I'm trying to study as much as I can about um, anything in, in terms of that type of ritual killing where, uh, you know, the body was hung up, jaw removed, yeah, you, stuff you like that. can't think of, uh, of anything really like that. Um, Is it, there, there anything in the libraries about uh, the undead in terms of a, a creature that I might be able to put a name to? Um, based on what little you have, other than, you know, no bite marks and at least claw marks. It could be many types of undead, um, other than zombies or vampires. So it's, it doesn't look like it's feeding at all. It doesn't look like it's, uh, it, it looks it like it's to be obviously of some type of intellect and a method, you know, it's not just finding rain. Um, it could be finding random people. Oh, yes. you don't quite know. The lingering smell is what I'd, uh, I'd focus on the most then. Yes, um, let's see here. Um, it seems, uh, spending all night, like you're up until three in the morning and you, f you finally have a eureka moment you're very tired it's good but um it seems to be studying through these books and father xanthus is trying to help you out as much as he can you think it the scent can be identified as having come from a ghast flesh a ghast uh, flesh <clears throat> yeah, we got something to it. Oh, God. Uh, okay. This is this is why this is why researching is awesome. So now, I I assume with that I'm going to uh, pass out at my desk. <laughs> yes. Eureka! Yeah. Um. You do know, studying further upon here. That I'm going to meet you again. Jack. Um, that gas is the plural form of a ghoul. Um, so this is a ghoul that you're dealing with. And reading up on this, um, you discover that they have diseased bites, causing ghoul fever. Anyone who is bitten by, uh, a ghoul, um, and it contracts ghoul fever, rises as a ghoul at the next midnight. Oh, damn. Mm. Well, we That's... know who we're going to send against this thing. Quadrule, um, Mr. I am immune to diseases. A, a humanoid who becomes a ghoul in this way retains none of the abilities it possessed in life. And it is not under control. I'm meeting you again, Zach. Um, it is not under control of any other ghouls, but it hungers no. for the flesh of the living and behaves like a normal ghoul in all respects. Can I, uh, can I keep putting pieces together or am I too tired to, uh... You are extremely really tired. Um... I'll, I'll wait till the morning to start putting more pieces together. Um, but, well, actually, sorry, I was wrong. Um, 
Um, gas is not the plural form of ghoul. My bad. No, it's a different thing. It's a different thing. Um, I know someone on YouTube's gonna like listen to that and be like, "Hey, <laughs> you're wrong." But if they just listen like two more minutes, they'll find out that I corrected myself. But um, they, but basically, there are more powerful ghouls. So the, the ghoul itself was a human, so we should probably find out who that human was. It is important. Just because it's a ghoul, we aren't dumb. We need to know who the human was before they became a ghoul and had an after-death uh, mission. It was probably... The, oh, gotcha. You know that okay, gas so usually um, have a much stronger stink of death and corruption. So... So it's a gas or a ghoul? It's a gas. But gas still have. Make. Yeah. Make ghouls. Yes. They're just uh, tougher. I'll wait till the morning to put together a little more pieces with the party. All right. So, Tangle, you sneak out. How do we know it knows Mooka by name? The, la the, 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 first. the first year lordship to Mooka and Party. Um, it said to Mooka and Party? Tangled, yeah. You sneak oh, out. Even rooted, apparently. So what do you do, Tangled? Uh, she heads back to the lumber mill. Okay. You head back to the lumber mill. And she walks in, and um, she can see at night. Yes. Um, and she tries to... The, the smell, aroma is still there, but the bodies are gone. Okay, and she wants to try again to climb... You're obsessed with climbing down. that wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she is. Um... Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, to climb that uh, wall again, just to see. She can't sleep, and something's bugging her. Okay. Uh, roll one d twenty plus. Plus eight. All right, you climb up the wall gracefully. Uh, and looking around for like, are the signs of the footsteps still there? Um, um, and can she see where they lead when she gets to the top of the wall or wherever the footsteps end? Where whatever Mooka saw earlier, you relate to the party. And so you can okay. kind of see where, uh, where he was talking about. Oh, okay. Um, then she climbs down and she just does one more perception check about where the man came out of the water or whatever it was climbed in she's looking for like samples of of like like something that she can tangibly show to the party like mm -hmm. like hair or they like a, a piece of clothing ripped off or something yeah. like that to try and find out what kind of thing it is right, more specifically so perception yep oh Uh, Jessa? Yeah? Are you going to roll perception? I did. That's your climb. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Never mind. I see it now. It just popped up. Um, even with that, it seems like this place has been scoured enough that you can't find any more clues than what you had already found during the day. Okay, um, Tangle heads back to the, uh, to the, um place where her the stables where her horse is and curls up and goes to sleep okay so the next day passes and um, this conversation can happen in the morning it's fine I'm gonna meet you for a second Alex um, so, 
Um, God, what was it? Oh, um, 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 um. oh, yeah, I need to check with uh, on this thing. Da -da -da. And find out where he is. All right, um, Sheriff Hemlock is there uh, to awake you, begging on your door, everyone. He's banging on all doors at once. Oh, you know, he's banging on one and the next. I'm just picking on you. Roxy's like, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, Quadro and Roxy are in the same room. We already woke up, maybe. Oh, we were talking, never mind. Oh. Oh. Well, no, that's not what I meant. I meant we were talking. We've been talking about whatever. We've been talking all night. <laughs> um, Luke is jealous. So, <laughs> it turns out that uh, he goes, unfortunately, <laughs> in the night, one of our townsfolk was brutally murdered. Um, Roxy says, called it. Um, I'm, I'm not pleased that you, that you were able to, you know, just predict it like that and so casually, Roxy. And she, she, ex she explains, we were going to investigate the insane asylum yesterday, but Corral felt like he needed to prepare his spells on a certain matter. And I was concerned about leaving then because I feared someone would die. And it's, it's, uh. It's a tricky situation for sure, but apparently someone it is someone that you've shunned, well not shunned, but more important things. Um has it anger in Fox Grove. No, um the the uh you didn't shun but you more important duties came to call. He was all excited about you putting on a play for him. One night, but you were never able to because you left. Oh shit! Uh, I remember that. Oh, we we're gonna reenact uh, the battle of standpoint. The bard, uh, oh, Cerdic yeah. Drakus is. We never got that ten gold either, son of a bitch. Well, that's because you never performed. Because I know. This will top. I know. Um, Cerdic Drakus is uh, no longer with us in this town. The theater will be very saddened by his passing passing. Our, 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 our culture took a big hit with his passing. That's not good. Proxy, proxy is like, dang, dang it, I tried to I tried to lure, lure him out, but last night... I, I suppose we should go check out the crime scene, right? Yeah. Let's go see our acquaintance's body. Yeah. I'll go back out to pee. Okay. <laughs> Roxy will gather the rest of the party, Tangle and Coral. All right, Coral, you are, uh, you only had about three hours of sleep. Yep. That's that quite all right. The Divine casters only need to pray at a certain time of day. Boop, they get their spells. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a little worn out. Uh, give me an hour and I'll be with you. Okay. All right. So uh, I guess we'll get Tangle done. Tangle is Tangle wakes up groggily and says, What's for breakfast? <laughs> Roxy hands her jerky and she says, It might not be the best idea to sleep outside right now. Someone was just murdered last night. Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. I can bring my horsey into the bedroom. That's a better idea. We'll have a heck of a time convincing Amico, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Um, so you guys go to Sandpoint Theater, and the body is uh, behind these cloths that the guard has uh, strewn up. Um, and Cedric Drock is not even hardly recognizable in the same fashion, Seven Point of the Star and all that. Um, 
the stench is overwhelming again. But other than that, there is no. You don't really. Is there no tracks? No nothing. Oh, um, let's see. Let me find where it's at here. Let's try to figure out some swamp swimming psychopath. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. No, no tracks. It is kind of in the middle of town. Hmm. And he says, I do not think this uh, this murder occurred too long ago. Probably uh, like two or three hours at most. Two or three. Rock seems like Roxas detects. Yeah. All right. Let's hear. This is just my handle, my obligatory handle animal. Yeah. Oh, he bloody hell, you know, he does it. All right, come on, rocks it. Let me 20 plus seven. Oh, nice. thank you, rocks it. Um, nice. Seems to track a scent out towards the coastline and then disappears. Well, there can only be one explanation for that. You jump into the ocean. It's, o it's over here by Sandpoint Harbor. Oh, Sandpoint Harbor. Yeah. But still the ocean. Yeah, for the most part. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Is this the stench here as well? Yes, or? it is. Um, you also see the journal of Cedric Jarkus exclaiming his excitement of, that the heroes of Sandpoint were uh, going to be performing. But Unnecessary, then his man. Next, his next journal entry was unfortunately the heroes decided to abandon the town. We didn't, we didn't fucking abandon the town. We saved we it. Dying. Oh, well, guy. they didn't know, so. Um, uh -oh. So he missed that big celebration? Or no, he, he was there for the celebration. Like, he gets back in spirit. He can't go back and edit journal entries. Come on now. It's all right, all right. Like, he um. Was, he was happier once you guys returned and all that stuff, but he was still bummed out. Can I try another knowledge history check to see if these comment these? Sorry, Zach, I had to mute you. <laughs> Zach's like, quiet down. God damn I just it. said that. God damn it's it. It's like I'm trying to play D and D here, people. I'm trying to play D and D. Stop trying to be social with me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um. I I'm just still trying to figure out if we can definitively say if this is a copycat or if this is a person doing their own thing. Because I know that they, they've had the late unpleasantness five years ago. There was a lot of bullshit that happened. I just want to make sure that this isn't a – this is its own unique thing. So is that okay? Yeah. All right. Well, Roxas knows the scent, mate. Hey, Roxas, tap the ground once if God yes, tap it twice if no. So the scent match. I will be done. Oh, there's no magic going on here, really. It's all just, you know, just kind of a, a murder. And Hemlock goes, I'm afraid that this may or may not happen every night that this goes on. Proxy's like, well, we're going to find the perpetrator. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, it, it might not happen every night. But... We should all keep guard, maybe, but you know, it's kind of tough. Yeah. How many deaths that total now? That is uh, three, six. Yeah, six overall. Six-sided star. Yep. Seven. 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 I got a media. Yeah. I know all that right. poor guy. So, uh. I'll, I'll I'll fill the group in on what I've what I've uncovered with the ghast. Um, here's my concern: that uh, everything that I've read on the ghast, and correct me if I'm wrong, Matt, seems to be that they do have a a hungering towards living flesh. Uh, they they do have a desire to bite and transform other ghouls. The uh, the issue that I see here is that I we've never encountered any bite marks on right. them. The, the, so, the ones that you have seen were are slain, not bitten. Which would be very 
bizarre, right? Yes. For what for what I've read. Or, so yes. so so my bigger fear, guys, is that we may be dealing with something that this this ghoul is just a servant. And we're actually dealing with something significantly more powerful. Um and it and it is looking to to send a message, not build an army. I see. I mean, have they been targeting right. people that that we know? At um, least these these latest killings have all been people that we've been somewhat connected to. Um, except so, you except the one. You really haven't been connected with any of them. Only in in the previous killings, only connected because you knew really Ben Vender and his other daughter Shayla's, but you didn't really know the one that got murdered. Um, so you. You think um, all of these characters express a certain type of desire? Well, I mean, uh, we can definitely hit the sanatorium. Um, that's that's where we should go, it, at least personally. You know, yeah. it's a shame that Hemlock can't keep his town under any type of protection, and that it's going to completely need to be us. But. Um, that's how it'll need to be. <laughs> okay. You're very uh, criticizing of this town. Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to play the guy as, as a... He's a <laughs> no, it's a, fine. A it's rough. quite all right. I'm, I'm just making an observation. I'll be right back. All right. So uh, here's, my, here's another plan we have. Maybe instead of an obvious greedy guy, we could have Muka. Illusion Mooka walking around with the greedy guy and saying, Why don't oh we just God, have Mooka? Mm -hmm. Eh, I say we have uh, fake drunk Mooka so that he's easy to take advantage of. <laughs> here's here's my concern. Is is the thing even going to be fooled by any illusion? Right. You know, I, I mean, how powerful is, is this thing that we're dealing with? Um... I'd be more inclined to let's let's just call it out. Go to the, go to the ocean and uh, I don't know what, what do you think. Go to the beach and challenge it, just yell or what? I don't think it's gonna be just chilling out in the water. I think it just travels via the water from wherever else. It goes back let's, home afterwards, you know. Let's at least hit up the uh, the asylum. Yeah. And, yeah. Why don't we uh, Why don't we base our future plans based on what we discover there? Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh, last. Um, that sucks. Ooh, Alex. Take care. I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. Dude, I know what it is. I know what it is. That's for sure. You can mute me. Just mute me. <laughs> just give. Fucking charades, man. Yeah. Just um. Just if they're being loud in the background, just mute yourself, Zach, and unmute just when you need to talk. Mute yourself when you want to talk, right? Yeah. yeah. Mute, unmute yourself when you want. Okay, bye, Roger. Bye, <laughs> we lost our mom. Okay. Yeah, Zach. Just, uh, just, hello. Um, just. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. All right. All right. So what we uh, decided to do was, when we get back for the night, we're gonna use. Illusionary drunk Mooka and Mr. McGreedy pants just walking around town. What do you mean? You, you spent you spent another night? No, no, no. no we're, when we get back, we're gonna head off to the asylum now. What, what I I had said, uh, you know, do you let, why don't we uh, why don't we base our future decisions as to what happens based on what we discover at the asylum here, and uh, we, we can go from there. I don't I don't know if. Um, any that'll help. The bard wasn't necessarily a greedy guy, was he? Um, he no, seemed to be so. for fame, right? Yeah, he he was greedy in some way. Um, from his journal, you see Can that I... he he aspired to want to be famous. I mean, I'd be happy walking around with Mooka. and <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? I I will throw out um. Uh, a little bit more of uh, announcements going out about the the building of of Devarok's fist, uh, taking over Thistletop. 
and seeing if people can know the name of Davrock's Fist and things like that. See if I can't get my name out there a little bit more. Okay. I say uh, perhaps a little self-reflection could be useful. What are all of us greedy for? And uh, I'm just I'm asking the group so we can try and analyze if we're targets. Roxy points out maybe my lost memories, but just saying, I tend to booze and glory. So there's mm -hmm. still um, so there's a couple more places. There's basically the well, there's actually yeah, two more places that you guys know of, and one of them you're going to right now is the. Uh, yeah, well, we're we're talking as we're traveling. Yeah, sanitarium, and then there's also the, um, the farm where the first murders. Of Ooh, it's it's after. Oh, actually, no, that tangles are there. really tangles after a tangles of target. How so? Well, it's it's going after greedy people. Oh, <laughs> didn't go after yeah. her last night. True. All right. So, so you guys make your way there, and let me bring up this uh, latest bit of news makes Tangle quite quiet. Okay. <laughs> um, grab everyone's little. Uh, let's see. Where are you? Okay. Where's the Ah, there it is. Oh. Um what page is that? Seventy nine. So I just have to, I just have to go to the little thing in my little book. Here. No problem. Um, I'm gonna quick pee then. Okay. Set up. Back. And everyone in your character sheets in the journals tab, make sure to. Uh, Make sure you're all healed up everywhere. Also, it makes me happy. Also, yes. Okay. As soon as we get there, can I have Roxy cast Mage Armor on me? It's up to Roxy if you guys want to present yourself like that. Uh, yeah, Mage armor is invisible. Poppins! Don't wait anymore. What did you think that she wanted? Meeting you, Jack. Uh, Zach. Just back yourself, man. I wish, I wish you would. But it's not. something hmm are we bringing something I don't know are you bringing something possibly I attack the darkness the darkness have you guys ever seen that video yes oh, I don't think you're qualified to do that I, I only I have magic missile <laughs> I attack the darkness such a great line oh god I suppose it's a great lie. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's a... Yeah, it's stupid. Dead Ale Lives. Hey, watch it after, uh... Um... 
Where is... I'll just set these guys over here. Okay. So, you guys <coughs> approach a sanatorium. This is it's a squat stone building um, that serves as the sanatorium and has three floors under a stout stone flag roof and is built in the lee of the limestone, lay of the limestone, escarpment known as Ashen Rise. All doors seem to be stout wooden doors, and a brisk sense of clean cleanliness fills the place. All the floors and walls are scrubbed, and um, the walls are freshly painted white. Narrow windows, no more than four inches wide, allow for air circulation, but are too small to allow access into the building. And the somewhat smour, the sour smell of burning incense is abound. Um, so I'll bring you guys up here on the map. Well, once I find, Jesus, I have so many maps here; it's ridiculous. Forgot how many I've accumulated over the, over the uh, campaign. Okay, and then I will reveal. Not quite sure I want to uh, clean this place out, though. <laughs> oh, we can always ask them to politely leave. So. Well, where are they going to go? I mean, well, I mean, it's you're in a sanatorium, which is a it's a facility. I don't fear the insane. <laughs> I'm mostly joking, so. Yeah, okay. For the insane, you know, it's not like a readily, you know, it's not, it's, I mean, you guys are going in armed with a, into, a tiger, with the tiger <laughs> oh, God. into a peaceful facility, so I mean, it's, <laughs> I don't know why, but that's what you're doing. Um, People are screaming about tigers and Nobody believes a word they say. Quadril kind of tightens on his backpack that has a goblin in it. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I, oh, do I have to roll uh, like diplomacy or bluff or something? Oh, we'll find out. Um, so you step up on the veranda. The old floorboards of this wooden veranda creak under any weight. Um, oh shit! I need my other copy here. And so there's a door right here. Oh shit, no, that's a door right here. There's a door to the south. Mm. Is there any signs on the door? What's that? Is there any signs on the door? Oh, um, I'm muting you, Zach. Mute yourself, we, God damn it! We got a um, warden? The... Let's see. The door down the south appears to be locked, but there is a door directly in front of you that is not locked. How, how does we the door look to be locked? <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I'm just picking on you. We weren't greeted by a, a warden or anyone nope. here? You're, you're okay. outside of the building on oh. the veranda. Knock, knock, knock. Like a porch, a deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose we should knock, right? Is that protocol? Um, there is, I mean, you yeah, can knock for sure. Yeah, uh, it. Nice little ghost sound of hello! Um, the. Oh, what's knocking the door? Alright. Mm -hmm. Which door are you knocking on? Front door. So the one down here, it's technically no, yeah. next to us. No. Oh shit! No, that's not a door. That's a window. Oh, sorry. All right. So there's only one door. There's there. Oh, there's a door to your right. So that one. Yeah. That so makes that's... much more sense. I was like, why the hell is this map so freaking weird? But then that makes sense that these are little windows and the doors are okay. I got you. I I can read the map now. I'm cool. I'm good. <laughs> So you walk in. Let me reveal this little area. 
everyone, you know, they're good. Um, so this room seems like a reception room. It contains a desk and three chairs, two, two to the west, one to the east. A cord hangs from a hole in the southern wall above a sign that reads, Ring for Service. Uh, Luca rings it. All right. A big, loud ring goes, ring, 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 ring. Nice. And, um, so, what is a nine? No, that's not it. Um, a four, a ten. Uh, one of the orderlies, uh, a, a tiefling appears. Uh, in front of you, all of a sudden. Uh, do, do, do. It says, "Hi, right, what can I? What business do you have here?" Uh, oh, I um. Roxy walks up, presents him the letter from Sheriff Hamlock, and she says, "We're here to see um. What's his name? Serious." Serious Black. No, that uh, was a different story. It's Grace Savella. That's it. Grace, we're here to see Grace Savella. Ah. Sheriff Hemlock, uh, we, Sheriff Hemlock has uh, sent us. Well, we're going to leave us on the letter. My name is Gorgeous. And I am a tiefling. As he has it. Nice to meet you, Very, you can, nice. you can tell. I'm Muka, and I'm a human. Yeah, he uh, I'm hand. Coral and a dwarf. Good, good. These people are all oh. goddamn insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Quadro and a human, and you can't tell any difference. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. So I. Uh, so do you present the letter? Did you present mm -hmm. the letter? We did present the letter. Yeah. He goes. Oh well. Uh, wait right here. Let me. Can I, uh, I want to sense motive to kind of get a feel for him right now. Uh, there's nothing really to sense. Well, I, I want to know if he's, if he's leading us into a trap. Is this a trap or? Yeah, you can is... sense motive for that. I'll do it. What's your sense motive check? 11. Okay. I want to know if he's having us wait here for a trap or if he is leaving for legit purposes. He's leaving for legit purposes. You're 100% confident. Okay, I tell I tell the group that it's all right if we wait. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well. Okay. Shields up. Oh, oh, he comes up and he goes, "Oh, hello. How are you doing?" We're fine. doing fine. Fine. Uh, I he I hear you're. Uh, I, I see you're here to uh, interview uh, uh, a patient of, 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 of mine. And Zach, I've got to mute you. Ah. Um, I hear you're, you're, uh, you're here to see a patient of mine. Graced? Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that, is that correct? Yes, sir. That's correct. Oh, 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 okay. And he's just like, Oh, oh, okay, yes. Uh, well, uh, wait, wait, wait here. Wait, wait here. You're, you're right there, sir. You I'm, fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm uh, fine. Uh, just, just wait. Uh, uh, yes, uh, just wait here. Just wait. I, I will bring him down. Wait for him to uh, turn his back. Oh. I'm I'm holding my war hammer and putting the shield on my uh, arm. On second thoughts, you all look nope. very scary. Uh, why are you you here again? I I need to know. 